updates and tonight we talk about youth and employment and with me in studio is is Madoc Madoc Emisembe who is the Koto youth leader in charge of ICT and social media you can be part of this conversation by sharing your views and comments on our social media platforms that is on Y254 channel hashtag Y254 news and you can also reach me at Patricia Moriyuki one on Twitter thank you very much for finding time to come and talk about this uh, Unemployment among the young people is really becoming a very major problem in the country. And we've seen people trying to come up and create ways on how the young people can put themselves out there. But before we get to that, would you tell us what, what is your role as the ICT, uh, the youth leader in charge of ICT and social media under Koto? Well, thank you very much for having me. Mm -hmm. um, my, job, my job is to relay information, link workers, mm -hmm. uh, Work on our website. We have a we have a website which is go to uh, Kenya.org. We have a Facebook page which is go to youth. Uh, there I get to interact with many young workers okay. from different industries, either it's in uh, restaurant business, service industry, and they get to ask me questions. Mm -hmm. And I, and I get to tell them that uh, if you want to be assisted in your employment uh, practice, you have to join a trade union. Okay. So my work basically is to is to uh, interview people, have mm -hmm. shows. Uh, share with them the labor laws, take them through those things, and answer periodic questions that may come about. Okay. Yes. So having said that, you interact with the with with mostly young workers. Yes. And try uh, and on social media, mm. what could you see are some of the challenges that these people speak about? Of course, uh, in most of the conversations I've had, uh, young workers are vulnerable to employers who who want to use them. Yeah. So let's say an employer gives you an internship, so it gives an internship for more than a year. You see, you see, unless you speak for yourself, unless you have an organization to speak on your behalf, you can't be assisted. Mm -hmm. So you find these young people in an internship position for more than three months, which the law says you have to work for more than three, uh, I mean, of course, for three months. Mm -hmm. Then after three months, you're supposed to sit with the employer and request that they should consider you for a job. Mm -hmm. But those are the unfortunate things. And, and uh, if, if I was to talk about uh, the hot, of course, the hotel in, uh, industries, like oh. the restaurants we have in Nairobi, most of these young people are, are forced to dress in a very, uh, of course, provocative way in order to serve clients. And mm -hmm. some of them are not happy with those terms. So if they want to be assisted, they have to join a trade union so that the trade union can come and have a discussion with the employer and, and, and give them a fair environment. Okay. Yes. Because you find them uh, being employed without any contract, and that is dangerous. Because what's, of course, what's your relationship between you and your employer? Mm -hmm. it's, it has to be something written. Mm -hmm. So our young people are not aware that that document uh, can assist you in court if in the event you, you and your employer are not in good terms. Okay. Yes. Uh, we know Kotu, Kotu is, is a body that really makes, makes sure that it's fighting mm -hmm. for the rights of workers in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, what about now? We're talking about young people. Most mm -hmm. of them are not, let's talk about the group that is out there still looking for jobs and they have not succeeded in getting something. Mm -hmm. So how do you get to help certain people? Mm -hmm. Now let's not talk, ab talk about someone who is in a union, someone who is working somewhere and they have registered under a certain trade union. Mm -hmm. What about a young person who is out there and they're still scouting for jobs? Mm -hmm. How do you get to offer help to such people? Yes, and you, you know, of course, if you're looking for a job, there are some of, I mean, of course, there are many reasons why you're looking for a job. And... Uh, you may not know, maybe, maybe, of course, maybe you're presenting a wrong CV. Okay. Maybe it, it's in how you're writing the motivational letter or the cover letter or the CV, the way you're presenting yourself. Mm -hmm. So as Koto Youth, any young person is free to contact us on our page and okay. say, I have a challenge. I want to get employment in this area. Could you kindly go through my my uh, documents. Mm -hmm. We will be very happy to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, according to the Kenya National uh, Bureau of Statistics, it mm -hmm. showed that 7 million Kenyans are mm -hmm. unemployed. That mm -hmm. This is a, a research that was done in March 2018. Mm -hmm. What could we say is the reason as to why we'll have 7 million Kenyans unemployed? It's because, uh, of course, most of our young people who are finishing school mm -hmm. have this notion that they have to get a white collar job. Mm -hmm. And in the Kenya of today, things have changed. It's not, it's not in the days of our parents where they just graduate, the job is waiting for them. Okay. So the young people need to be innovative. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, you need to think of a place where you can get in and start something. It's, I mean, you can sell mboga to a million customers. 
you are better than somebody who's in a bank who's in a t who's at who's in a teller position who's uh, being supervised you see you, you you get a chance to decide your own future because you're starting businesses what i would advise uh, uh, my fellow young people is to is to be innovative find forums where they can get uh, entrepreneurship ideas okay uh, find forum where entrepreneurs entrepreneurs are meeting of course take time go to this uh, as, as, as markets where you can see of course where are the gaps mm -hmm. if you want to look for the gaps you have to go look yeah to look for them mm -hmm. and uh, of course other areas I would advise young people to take advantage of is in ICT mm -hmm. you can easily start anything you can link uh, sellers of uh, rice in Moya to bars in, in Nairobi, in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. it is you to, to to, to think about it mm -hmm. and get a group of people where, uh, uh, of course, I'm talking about ICT, and then uh, you, you can find a gap. Okay. It's about them to take the initiative. Okay, we're it's going to talk about the opportunities in ICT, but mm -hmm. I want us to talk about, mm -hmm. I think like three weeks ago, there was a there, there was a discussion, a very hot discussion on internship mm -hmm. and how organizations, most organizations don't pay their interns. Mm -hmm. And there were there was a there was a there was there was mixed reactions because there are people who felt like mm -hmm. how do I pay an intern and it's my responsibility. They feel like you're coming here to learn. Mm -hmm. So they don't feel like they should pay the intern. Mm -hmm. And then there are other people who feel like these people walk in as much as you're going to orient them and show them what to do, by the time that they know what they're doing most of the work is going to be done by the interns. Mm -hmm. So how would you address this mm -hmm. issue? Uh, first of all, I'd like to say an intern is an employee. Uh, as per the labor laws, section two, an intern is the same as an employee. Okay. Now, what this intern should do is to ensure that they're in good rapport with them, with the employers. Okay. Uh, you see, sometimes you can say that I want you to pay me my salary, and yet you're on training. Mm -hmm. You're at the mercy of the, of the employer. Okay because you've agreed with me that there are no jobs. So it's not bad to start as a trainee and uh, start work and work for like three months without pay. Mm -hmm. Because most people who are successful can tell you that I worked for a place for more than three months. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do if three months elapsed, make sure you're communicating with your employer, your HR and requesting, is there a way that you people can consider to pay me? You have to first negotiate. Mm -hmm. It's not a question that you are demanding. Okay. So that is what I would advise the, the, the young people. You have to speak for yourself. Mm -hmm. be, be very kind. Uh, walk to the HR's office and say, kindly, I am, I've, I'm, I've worked here for three months and I'm requesting if you could give me something. Okay. Then that, that's, that's when you start negotiating. Because that's our work. So you mm -hmm. see every year, Labor Day, we, we demand for 1.5 increase. Yeah. Uh, I mean, 15% increase. Mm -hmm. Last year, but we got 5%. It's about negotiation. Mm -hmm. So I'm advising young people to learn how to negotiate. Okay. Yes. Now, speaking about, uh, <coughs> now we've talked about the, the interns and being able to put themselves out there. Mm. So what about now, these, this person has finished their internship mm. and they feel that um, the, the, the person promises them that they are going to keep them there. Mm. We've had people argue that most young people mm. do not know how to, to approach because we want, we all want to go out there and get a, a job that is paying us so high. We want mm. to live in a certain place. We have all these, Young people have all these expectations that they want. Mm. So would you, what would you say is a better way mm. for a young person to be able to approach uh, a certain organization? Because sometimes as much as volunteer jobs could be uh, so tough, they help you gain mm. the experience and, mm. and if probably is what you have, you prefer, you rather go for that than stay mm. at home. Mm. So what advice would you give to the young people on how they approach such jobs or such opportunities? Such jobs, I've yeah. already said that if you if you sit in a place for more than three months, mm -hmm. you are supposed to go and negotiate. Yes, mm -hmm. you can go and negotiate and wait for them to respond. Of course, when you write a letter, they'll give you seven days to respond. Okay. Now, my advice will be this: find a way and join a trade union secretly, privately. Mm -hmm. Now, work with the trade union to be able to mobilize the workers inside that organization so that you can establish a document called collective bargaining agreement. Okay. A collective bargaining agreement is an agreement where everyone is looking out for each other because you don't want to have an assistant who's working as an, as an intern and is frustrated. Okay. And because you're, you're permanently and pensionable, mm -hmm. you will not feel good. So you're, you're, all, you're all as a team. So if you're, in, if you're in such a situation, find an organization, subscribe yourself to that organization, mm -hmm. tell them that you're not being paid, but you're willing to, to assist them into getting the other members recruited. Mm -hmm. That way, 
that way you can uh, actually if you get them to recruit more uh, workers in that organization they can be able to sign something called a collective bargaining agreement okay. or from that office they can write a letter we we are meant to understand that you have interns who have who have worked in this organization for more than three months and you know f when you you cannot uh, have somebody work for you for more than three months without considering them for mm -hmm. anything that is illegal mm -hmm. in fact it is fraud mm -hmm. so that way i think uh, uh, our young people can can survive and if they need more advice they can always come to our page mm -hmm. go to youth page mm -hmm. and they will always find me with answers okay yes. uh so uh can we say our is our curriculum good enough mm. is that going to school and being taught uh, being pushed to go to universities and pursue these careers that we want to be mm. is it is it enough or are we pushing people to do a certain thing and living probably uh, motivating people to also go for skills to also go for talent so would you say our curriculum is well equipped to make sure that these people are ready for whatever they find out here yes you see uh, i don't know about the new curriculum mm -hmm. i've not grown, gone mm -hmm. through it mm -hmm. but what i can tell you right now uh, our country is moving to skill based mm -hmm. you see like guys who do designs are well paid you see they do a job on internet and they're paid like 2000 bob mm -hmm. uh, when you calculate that you can make like 30000 in 15 days mm -hmm. you see that's a salary of someone you yeah, see yeah. so that, those those are the skill those are the 21st century skill mm -hmm. so as a young people since we, we we are privileged to to have access to computer you can find a skill like let's say statistics statistics seems to be the the hot thing right now mm -hmm. if you know how to use spss mm -hmm. uh, 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 of course collecting data and uh, using spss and portraying some information depending on what an organization would like you to do okay. so 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 i can't blame our education our education is just to give you the understanding and that is why when you graduate they say now you have the power to read mm -hmm. All you have been doing is just to equip you with the skills. Okay. And once you graduate, mm -hmm. your work is now to go and find books and find your interest mm -hmm. and say, now I have done this course, now I'm going to concentrate on this. Mm -hmm. And many people can tell you, you graduate with, with a business in finance and you find yourself in, uh, in, in uh, trade union, like myself. I did finance, <laughs> I'm in trade union. You ask me how, uh -huh. I don't know, maybe it's passion, uh -huh. you know? So find something that you do. Slowly mm -hmm. by slowly, you find yourself uh, okay. getting employed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, someone has gone through primary school secondary mm. school mm. university and they're mm. done mm. they have gone for the three months internship mm. and then it's time for you to look for a job now because mm. now responsibilities are coming up mm. you have bills that you need to pay mm. but every job that you're looking out for mm. most of them want people with three years of experience mm. two years of experience some even five years of experience mm. and you ask yourself for five years i've been in school mm. so what 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 adjustment do you think can can be put into place to make sure that at least mm. these young people are accommodated because the more we keep on putting having these high mm. high uh, requirements mm. then we keep we are still flooding mm. the, the the job market with people who are not employed mm. so what do you think can be done what adjustment do we, do we think need to Put maybe, place. Um, the advice I maybe would give the, the Kenyan government is mm -hmm. to give incentive to mm -hmm. employers. Mm -hmm. you, you know we have 700,000 people graduating. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can the government give incentives to companies who employ these people on trainee basis, mm -hmm. give them job, give them a uh, job experience and they can, give, they can get tax incentives okay. to motivate these companies in order to give them a chance to, to, to accumulate those uh, years of experience mm -hmm. and also these companies should also give people a chance to demonstrate you see sometimes on a semanga uh, mm -hmm. you can have uh, you can have stayed in this life for for small years of time but you are a reader so you know some yeah, so yeah. companies should give young people a chance mm -hmm. and if companies can present that maybe in last year we gave like a hundred graduates immediately a chance mm -hmm. now the money they pay them the government can give them incentive on on the accumulative tax they pay to government okay. to encourage companies to take advantage of training and giving people a chance mm -hmm. that is advice i'll give, oh, give okay. the government so what what opportunities are there in the ict and we know most young people these days mm -hmm. are hooked to their phones hooked to their laptops and probably they don't know that that's that's mm. something that can make them even have to be an employer and mm. have and create jobs for people so mm. what opportunities are there in the ict in the ict area i'll say i have a friend who quit his job the mm. other day mm -hmm. i think he was being paid like 60 and i think i'll, I'll give that example mm -hmm. so this guy does statistics jobs he does homework or jobs for some guys outside the, the country i don't know if you've heard about it yeah yeah so he discovered he he makes uh, half of his salary in 15 days and he does not he's not stressed mm -hmm. while he's doing that job mm -hmm. he does it at his own time okay 
So you see, those are some of the areas that people should consider. Mm -hmm. it, it's not necessarily you have to, to get into a matatu, mm -hmm. put a tie, yeah, wake up early at four and mm -hmm. travel to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. No, no. That is, I think, is, I would say a slave mentality, mm -hmm. a slave mm -hmm. mentality okay. that you have to move from one place to another. If, see, they have access to internet. Yes. See, there are in institutions that are now providing free Wi-Fi. Yeah. Get to understand how can I work from home. You see, I've given you an example, uh, doing homeworks mm -hmm. from, uh, from now for guys in the, in the United States. Mm -hmm. There's Forex. Okay. You see, those are some of the areas. I'm not quite, uh, I'm not quite keen on Forex, but I'm told it's a, it's a very uh, intellectual, involving uh, internet opportunity. You have to be quite interested in economics and mm -hmm. you have to be very keen. Okay. If, if you if you're lazy and you want to sleep you, you will not you're know not when the markets will change because the markets can change at 3 a.m okay. so those are jobs that uh, determine you to be disciplined mm -hmm. and you see uh, uh, the way we, our lifestyle as Kenyans we are quite relaxed mm -hmm. even you can tell with the huduma number <laughs> everyone everyone will be will, will be hurrying up to get huduma number well, two days the two. last days and then they'll say to number serikali yongeze Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, so th there has to be uh, a way that we need to change. Okay. If the system has, uh, has, br has, has brought us to, to think in a certain way, mm -hmm. that's why they say we give you the power to read. Now you can read and find out okay. how am I supposed to take, to seize the moment at this moment in time because the economy has changed, mm -hmm. the opportunities have changed okay. and ICT is an area that you, you can thrive in and I've, I've given you uh, doing homeworks, I've given you forex, I've given you graphic design, mm -hmm. I've even said statistics, mm -hmm. you know statistics like working on SPSS, everyone wants to, see so, so if you've heard this story about big uh, data, Yes. I've been talking about big data being, being an opportunity, now who's supposed to explain to the CEO what all this data means? It has to be a statistician. Yeah. You don't have to go to class to, to do statistics. Oh. I can remember me, I used to pass statistics. And I can tell you, I was not quite keen about it. I, was, I just used to be very good at understanding formulas mm -hmm. and, and implementing them. Okay. So that is an area that people can, can understand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. And I think from all that we've, we've talked about tonight, mm. it is that every person has a role to play in making sure that the young people of this country have jobs. Mm. That is the government, the employer, and the young people themselves. So mm. uh, a challenge to my fellow young people, let us put ourselves out there, let us take advantage of every opportunity that we get. And also let us not only seek to be employees, we can also be employers. So use your skills and just try to look for your interest and your going to make uh, things work for you. That is how we end for you tonight. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Patricia Marioki. Live every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Alright! Alright! We, we bring you the best gospel show in 254. I, I give you the best gospel mixes. Gospel 100%. And, and now we introduce to you juicy information and news on gospel tracks. And on top of that, one on one with your favorite gospel artist on your screen in your living room. In Mboya. Usipito Pia now our fresh and new music right here, as well as our top six countdown as voted by you. We call it JC Circle right here on Y254 channel. JC Circle. Watu, mnajua ni aje? Wana usema usema, mbini ufuata mwendo na basi runinga Y254. Tunafuata mkondo uo kwa kisha tunalea vipaji na kukupa burudani.
kupitia vipindi vya muziki, majadiliano na elimu. Pia tunaangazia masuala ya burudani na kukupa exclusive kutoka kwa mastaa wapendao. Hey, cha kufanya unamwambia rafiki amwambia rafiki tupo katika vingamuzi vyote vya digitali. Boomsha. Fresh. Fresh. Y254 Imagine Katapila, naka katapila. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Karoke Live on Y254. This is how we start our show. Kumbuka, I'm your old general. Lafulu imbo kone. Everyone has a show to kama kawa, kama dawa. So it's that time for we to changa mkenda. Lakini before to anze, tunata kufungwa Facebook page ni Karoke Live Y254. Kwenye Twitter ni Karoke Live Y254. Na kwenye Instagram ni Karoke Underscore Live Y254. So, changa mka na sisi, bonga na sisi, ndanya social media, tujibambe. Sindio? And it's that time for we to start the song of the week. Na before to anze, kwa hizo tumekuwa zikitrend hapa na pale eh machali kawaida sasa siku hizi nasikia tumeanza kuchezewa chini ya maji na pia madem pia mwanza kutuma sms chini ya maji eh hey! nianza na mimi ama hivi pia so is that 